Hey everyone, welcome back to Sarah's Vegan Kitchen. I've got a haul today. I haven't done one of these in a long time, but I just went to Sprouts and Trader Joe's, picked up a majority of the things I'm gonna be using for my Thanksgiving slash holiday recipe testing. And I thought it would be fun to share with you guys, just to give you maybe some ideas for your own menu planning. I'm gonna go through it in no particular order, starting with some things I picked up from the Sprouts bulk bin. I've been buying my nuts and seeds from Thrive Market, but their raw cashews and raw almonds were on sale today. So I stocked up on these. I was thinking of maybe turning the raw almonds into some sort of fancy cultured vegan cheese. And I got some cheesecloth for that. And then you can never really have too many raw cashews on hand, especially since during the holidays, a lot of recipes involve some sort of creamy base so I can make cheesecake or um, mac and cheese out of this. And I got a couple of other things for cream sauces, so cauliflower, just steam this and puree this with nutritional yeast and a bunch of seasonings. This makes a great creamy base for any savory recipes. And I've got a huge bag of russet potatoes for the same reason. And then of course also to make some mashed potatoes and maybe some scalloped cheesy potatoes. And then in the same vein, green bean casserole usually involves some sort of cream of mushroom soup. So I've got my haricot vert, I've got a bunch of mushrooms for that casserole and also maybe for a mushroom gravy and then I can use either my cauliflower or my cashew cream or potato cream to make some sort of creamy sauce for that. Then I got this cute little pumpkin because I was thinking of maybe making a pumpkin bisque or using it in some sort of dessert, maybe like a pumpkin cheesecake, finally making one of those. Grabbed a butternut squash. Maybe I'll use this in my stuffing. Maybe I will steam it and puree it into some sort of epic vegan mac and cheese. My mom and sister, they always make mac and cheese for Thanksgiving, not vegan, but I'm thinking if I make a really, really dope vegan mac and cheese, maybe I can convert them. Right? I'm actually not even making macaroni and cheese. I guess I'm technically making fusilli and cheese because I just think that this pasta shape holds onto the cheese sauce better. And then I've got the obvious stuff, some yellow onions, plenty of garlic. I picked up some of this better than bouillon vegan vegetable broth base. So this brand in particular has a really nice, deep, rich, savory flavor. It stands in well for beef broth. I think it's gonna be great in my mushroom gravy. And also, if I end up making like a seitan roast or a tofurkey, this will add a lot of nice, savory depth, depth to that recipe. <laughs> Gotta make stuffing. Stuffing is my absolute favorite Thanksgiving menu item, probably because I always put just copious amounts of butter in it. So I've got some celery. I love celery, man. It is so good. I think it's highly underrated vegetable, okay? Just my opinion. I also have for that some multi-grain bread so that my stuffing can be higher in fiber so that I can convince myself that it's healthy, even though it's not. Also, I started eating this on the way home from the store. It's really good. I've got to chew now. There are lots of chewy rollers in a roll for two. Last item of produce I picked up was this little eggplant. Actually, it's not little, this is a big boy. But I was thinking, I should have mentioned this earlier, that um, I've made nacho sauce out of roasted eggplant and it had a nice creamy wick, whipped texture. I was thinking this could be another option for uh, my macaroni and cheese or the base for my green bean casserole or my scalloped potatoes. There's just so, so many choices. <laughs> Got some cashew milk. Usually I cook with unsweetened plain soy milk, but somehow Sprouts was out of that today. So I just grabbed cashew milk. This has a nice um, neutral flavor. It's very low in calories, so I don't know if it will be as creamy as I want it to be in my recipes, but we, we shall see. Picked up some coconut milk and some coconut cream. Coconut cream, I'll just chill and I'll whip up and use it on some sort of fancy dessert. I got some yeasty yeasts so that I can make some homemade, maybe sweet potato dinner rolls or just regular dinner rolls, who knows. Also picked up some of these semi-sweet chocolate baking chips. This is the Guitard, Guitard, Guitard? I don't know how to pronounce this. <laughs> is this French? Uh, it's beside the point. The point is these are vegan chocolate chips. I have been buying the Enjoy Life ones, which are really good, but they're also very expensive compared to normal chocolate chips. These are a little bit cheaper, and um, Nicole from More Salt, please let me know that these are vegan friendly, because I just kind of assumed they had dairy in them, never looked at it, but nope, they just have cocoa butter, sunflower lecithin, and vanilla, and sugar. So these are good. I don't know what I'm gonna make with them yet, but you can never have too many bags 
of reserved chocolate chips in your pantry. Trader Joe's has vegan mini marshmallows, and I'm gonna use these probably on my sweet potato casserole. Because, I mean, there's nothing haute cuisine about a sweet potato casserole with marshmallows on it, but it just makes me feel nostalgic. I just grabbed some diced tomatoes. This isn't really for my Thanksgiving menu, but they're always nice to have on hand. I did pick up some of the so delicious unsweetened coconut milk yogurt because I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna use those raw almonds for some sort of fancy herbed artisan cheese for like a vegan fruit and cheese party platter, parte platter. And you can just take pre-made vegan yogurt or you can empty a vegan probiotic capsule into your vegan cheese mix and it will culture it for you if you uh, control the temperature. Got some panko breadcrumbs for my mac and cheese, my ma my fusilli, fusilli and cheese, sorry. Cornstarch, because I ran out and I use it all the time for breading and for thickening gravies and soups, etc. Got some rolled oats. I might make some sort of oatmeal cookie with cranberries and pistachios and orange zest. And if anyone knows of a vegan white chocolate, let me know because I haven't found one. They all have milk in them. That would be cool. And then also maybe using these rolled oats and some sort of streusel topping. I got some azúcar. I like to get my sugar from Sprouts because it actually has the vegan label on it, meaning it wasn't processed using animal bone ingredients. So that is cool. And then the very last thing I got, kind of a weird ingredient, some lecithin granules. And now during the holidays, I end up using a lot of vegan butter, which especially if you're trying to avoid earth balance because of the palm oil thing, and just, I usually buy the Miyoko's butter. Um, it's really expensive, so I was thinking of trying to make my own vegan butter and oh, let me show you something Let me show you something. I treated myself <laughs> to two vegan cookbooks So I got street vegan posted about this on my Instagram story and everyone was raving about it So I'm really excited to test out some recipes from that and I finally got Miyoko's homemade vegan pantry and I believe that there's a butter recipe in here that I'm going to make. It's not cultured. I think it's just coconut oil that uses lecithin. And then hopefully if I can make my own vegan butter that is as good or, you know, comparable to the store-bought Miyoko's vegan butter, then I can save a couple dollars. Dollar dollar bills, y'all. So that's everything that I bought for Thanksgiving and holiday <laughs> recipe testing very overwhelmed. Um, you kind of get an idea of how my brain works when I'm like trying to decide what videos to make. I really don't know until I'm filming the video. It's just like a surprise even to me. <laughs> but if you have any ideas, let me know um, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Produce item I picked up was this eggplant, which looks like it has little legs. Like, I'm walking, I'm walking towards you. Oatmeal cookie.